Welcome to the service now store on YouTube. Go to destination for all things service now. Whether you are a seasoned IT professional or just dive into the world of enterprise solutions, we have got you covered. Now let me quickly show you within the service now environment how the vulnerability manager's workspace looks like. So I logged in here to the instance. So the next thing I would do is I just zoomed in it so that it can be visible more. You see that there is a workspace, okay, menu. Then under that, you go ahead and scroll down, vulnerability manager workspace. So upon clicking that, it will take me to this workspace, okay? Now, if you really notice uh, on the URL, okay, it's a VR dash analyst. So this is mainly for the vulnerability analyst. So on the URL, you will be able to see that. So it is a vulnerability analyst workspace, okay? Now there are two things here under overview, the host vulnerability and also application vulnerability. The application vulnerability, that's something we can cover in another session in detail. We mainly talk about the host vulnerabilities like related to CIs and so on. So we're not talking about any application vulnerabilities um, and so on. So that's another topic that we're gonna cover. Now in this workspace, as you logged in, you have this, uh, on the left side, you have the home button, okay? Which is the, the watch topic, you have the watch topic. And also, yeah, that's the home. And you have the watch topic right here. That's really cool and also the exposure assessments and also the list the list where we have a list of uh, different things so easily you can go ahead and navigate through that the list is really cool as well now let's take a look at the home in a little bit detail what you have right here is again it's defaulted to the host vulnerability and you can view vulnerabilities that are due uh, within the past 90 days or decommissioned and assigned ungrouped missed darked multiple different so these are all the filters that are uh, created for you and then I have that 428 vulnerabilities. Okay, now here is cool things. Okay, your vulnerabilities uh, among those vulnerabilities by assignment group, assignment group and remediation status. You can see that majority of them are empty. And I have also um, the sys ID is just because I don't have the group in my system. Okay, so you have by color coded the target missed. And let's take a look at by state. I have that many open vulnerabilities, okay, by state awaiting implementation under investigation currently and also in review that many. Okay, you also have by risk, okay, small kind of report by risk right here, medium and one critical. Okay, so if you scroll further down, you'll see that vulnerability and remediation task with existing exploit. Okay, yes or no, that's really important as well if that vulnerability has an existing exploit if it has or not that it really determine the uh, you can use this if there is an exploit or not to determine the severity of that vulnerability okay the risk score external facing or not the ci okay um, by ci classification windows servers they contain majority of the vulnerability by cloud resource and so on if there are any deferred vulnerability okay by deferred reasons so you'll have that one as well so this is in general the overview of vulnerability under the vulnerability analyst workspace. Now, let me show you the watch topic. Okay, it's gonna load in here. I don't have a lot of uh, watch topics here, but it's, it's gonna give you a little bit of example here. So one of the watch topics we are looking here is the host vulnerability under host vulnerability. We have right here also vulnerability on external facing and so on. So these are some of the watch topic that you can go ahead and look your vulnerabilities, okay? All right, so the within this workspace, there is exposure assessment you can do. And for that, like I mentioned on uh, earlier on exposure assessment, you should definitely need to have integrated this instance, okay? The instance that you have with um, CVE, all right? And also NIST, okay? Those are really, uh, it's gonna give you more assessment on your, okay? Since I don't have that integration yet on this system, which I'm gonna cover on another session, then we'll, we'll take a look at that in detail, okay? Now, we're gonna move on to the list, list, the list view here, right here, the list view. You'll see that I have list, actually, list remediation efforts that are active and also all. You can take a look at everything that is active and also all. And again, these are a very quick, uh, quick out of the box list that are created already, remediation task active and all. So I'm going to then close up those host vulnerable items right here and application vulnerable items that we're going to cover in another session, but you have that modules right there. You can hide them if your team is not currently using them. Okay, these are the libraries, okay, uh, for especially you can use them for exposure assessment, the CVEs um, and then um, common vulnerability index and the TPE, CWE, 
application vulnerability and compensating controls okay those are some of the libraries you can have all right you can create your own list from this as well what you need to do is under here my list so these are the list that i created for myself assigned to me okay it's a copy so i copied the assigned to me for myself and i created that one so that's definitely very good you can uh, your teams you can teach them how to create it's very simple and easy clicking add a new list and from there you can use an existing one to go ahead and create your own list now let me take you to one of the remediation efforts right here and you can take a look at how what it looks like under this workspace okay this uh, critical overdue vulnerability risk rating five none it is an it's uh, active is true uh, you have the overview here the description of the vulnerability and where the category is we don't have that much ci here uh, let's take a look at the details okay that's re is the remediation effort i uh, don't have much 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 detail for this one the remediation task that is tied to this one. welcome to the, the service, service now, now. Start start on youtube, YouTube. YouTube. go YouTube. to destination YouTube. for all things YouTube. service now. Now. Whether you are a seasoned IT professional or just dive into the world of enterprise solutions, we have got you covered. From tutorials and tips to the latest updates and innovations, join us on this journey to master service now. Don't forget to hit subscribe and ring the notification bell so you never miss our latest content. Let's unlock the full potential of ServiceNow together. Welcome to the ServiceNow store, where excellence meets innovation. In general, the ServiceNow vulnerability response module comes with a bunch of tools that can help not only the security teams, but also the operations team to go ahead and identify and also remediate vulnerabilities effectively and efficiently okay that concludes today's session and i'll see you on the next one make sure you go ahead and subscribe and i'll see you on the next one until then have a great day everybody Welcome to the service now start on YouTube. Go to destination for all things service now. Whether you are a seasoned IT professional or just dive into the world of enterprise solutions, we have got you covered. From tutorials and tips to the latest updates and innovations, join us on this journey to master service now. Don't forget, forget to hit subscribe, to subscribe ring the notification, notification bell, bell so you never, never miss, miss our, our latest content. content. Let's and unlock the full potential, potential of ServiceNow service together. together. Welcome, Welcome to the ServiceNow service store, store, where excellence where meets innovation. Thank, thank you for, thank you for watching, watching, and thank and you for joining us. See you next time. time.